Welcome back to Crazy Dave's Crew, and this is the place where you never know what crazy stuff we're getting into. I, I, I have something that I like to collect. My husband thinks I'm crazy. He says it is a, they're, they're dust collectors, but he's so sweet because he indulges me. Uh, birthdays, Christmas, you know, just because days. Um, I get another one to add to my little collection. It started, we were uh, going to auctions. Uh, we had a little shop, um, antique shop, you know, booth, whatever. And Mickey, the guy that owned the, the auction house, he basically had a yard sale. It was stuff that didn't sell at the auctions and he was wanting to clear out his warehouse. And he had this massive amounts of salt and pepper shakers. And I was able to buy a large quantity at a very, very good price. Uh, sold some. A uh, couple got broken. But I was able to go through and I, I picked out some of my ultimate, ultimate favorite ones. And that is what started. And uh, I, I, I really like them. Salt and pepper shakers can really show off your personality. As you're going to find out in just a minute. We'll be right back. So the first one I want to show you is one we got at the Titanic Museum up in Pigeon Forge. And we didn't actually go to the museum. Uh, we didn't have time, but I'm hoping we'll go up next time. We'll go in. But this was in the gift shop. And they had a they had, they had quite a few there. And but these were my favorites. I love them when they're little, you know, things are just sort of you. So there's my first pair that I want to show off. And I do think the Titanic Museum has an online gift shop. You can order these if you want. Uh, it was an amazing shop. They even had Titanicopoly, I think. They had all sorts of things. Uh, tons and tons of Heart of the Ocean necklaces, you know. Um, lots of different things, a lot of reproduction jewelry. But I limited myself to a single set of Titanic salt and pepper shakers. And I just thought that was really neat. This is one I got for my birthday. So you guys are going to think I am very macabre. And again, this just <laughs> indicates how crazy I am. It's macabre, but I love it. This is Marie Antoinette. And it's magnetized. So you have two shakers. So you've got the set of shakers here on her shoulders and then some on top of her head. But they go together and they're real, it's real cute, real pretty. But if you want to use it, they come apart. I know, sick, right? Tell me you don't love this. I thought it was marvelous. Uh, I think they bought it from Amazon. And if they did, I'll tell my husband to be sure to put a link. Um, and hey, let me know. If you happen to buy a set of these, um, be sure to put a comment down below. I would love to know if <laughs> who else has a sense of humor like I do. So there's my Marie Antoinette. I got this for my birthday this past year. I think my daughter Shelby, aka Random Gal, got to be sure to check out her, pa her page here on YouTube. And last but not least is a set I purchased from Crazy Daisy's Antique Shop uh, down in East Ridge, Tennessee. It's right there on the border of, East Ridge, uh, of Tennessee and Georgia. And she, Chris, has got to be one of the nicest ladies in the world. Uh, I highly recommend you going to her shop. Um, now, I haven't been in a while, but this set I purchased for myself with some birthday money one year, and I just loved these. It's got little these little doggies, these little flowers. It's got some little gold accent. And on the bottom, I believe it, yeah, it says Japan on the bottom. And there's cork on the inside. The, they've come loose, but there is cork on the inside. But I remember I had some birthday money a year or so ago, and I bought a pincushion doll, and I bought these because I just thought they were so cute. So there is my first set 
of salt and pepper shakers to share with you. Like I said, a little macabre, a little goofy, a whole lot of fun. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, hope you like them. They are not for sale. So just to let you know, they're not for sale from me. But you can get these if you wanted. And, you know, you might be able to find those at some antique shops, uh, eBay, different places. So I don't know what they're called, but I just thought they were adorable. So, again. <laughs> so, Marie Antoinette says, bye for now. Be sure to subscribe and don't forget to come back. Uh, you never know. I may have to show you some more of my weirdo uh, salt and pepper shakers. Hope you're having a great day. Be sure to subscribe and don't forget to come back to Crazy Dave's Crew, where you never know what crazy stuff this crew is going to get into. Thanks for watching.